Do you like being unique, being the only one with your style? Check out Cage City, the fashion forward store that sells bespoke and up and coming exclusive brands. At Cage City, a high quality handmade section as well as vintage. Cage City is all about wearing what you want to wear and making you feel good wherever you are. Check out Cage City on www.lutgradionetwork.com. That's lutgradionetwork.com. For the online store for the stylish free spirit, Cage City on the lutgradionetwork.com. The holiday season brings great airfares with smart fares. That's up to 70% off on airfares, plus an extra $15 off. That's right, you heard me right. An extra $15 off of airfares with smart fares. Go to lutgradionetwork.com, lutgradionetwork.com for your promo code. That's lutgradionetwork.com, smart fares for your promo code. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Alright, y'all, this is Kathy Brooks for LUTG Radio. I am in a super, super, super good room. I usually am, I just don't always say so. Yeah, baby, because sometimes the news, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's so crazy and so funny, you got to put on a serious face, but the beauty of not having a divinity degree is um, I don't have all the junk meaning I don't have all the rituals in my head I, I don't have that so I'm kinda like this loose cannon I'm, well I should say I'm a reserved loose cannon I keep my thoughts on God <clears throat> however I don't have the religious uh, factor I, I, I just don't have it and uh, it could be enough that I care enough to not care. You're like, Kathy, that's impossible. How can you care enough to not care? Well, I care enough about people that I could give a flip about how things look or how or about being popular. I mean, true enough, I want the show to be successful. But, see, being popular is not necessarily successful. Success to, success to me is winning souls for the kingdom. Is being able to be a blessing to someone that's saved or unsaved. That's a success to me. Now, would I like the show to be like, boom, all over the place and tell, people tell me, I listen to your show. Thank you so much. Cool. I would really love to hear that. But if I just reach one soul or one person that kept them from doing something to, doing harm to themselves or gave them inspiration to go forth with that great idea that they have that maybe nobody else believes in, what they do. If I can give the inspiration to do it, do that success. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I could care less about stuff. Uh, I, I'll tell you something funny that happened yesterday. Now, you know, I'm I'm always telling you about different things that I see, especially spiritual things, right? So, uh, I I figure this is God must be about to. Uh, I don't know what God is doing right now. But I, I still have faith. I, I, you know how Hebrews 11 one says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. I still have faith for the unseen favor. You know what I'm saying? But um, I believe <laughs> I believe that he's going to probably put a, a ream or choke, put a chokehold on the enemy, which would just make me so happy. And I say that because... Uh, the enemy keeps coming to me and trying to tempt me. He really does come and try and tempt me. And uh, he'll try and get me to stop uh, preaching the gospel, stop telling people about Jesus. Anything that will stop, get me angry enough that I won't tell people about Jesus. Let me tell you, that, that is completely impossible. I've gotten angry with people because they do silly things. They do very mean things other people you want to make me mad 
do something so ignorant and so disgusting to other people, it makes me want to punch you. But I will not punch you. I will still offer salvation. But you may have to give me a minute because I'm I'm trying to cool my cool myself down because I don't like when people mistreat other people. To me, it doesn't make any sense. Why? What are you getting out of it? Nothing. You you get nothing from mistreating people. What's the point? So that kind of stuff makes me angry. But uh, whenever I come across it or someone doing that, because uh, I did the other day, and um, he he's always there to back up that garbage, back up the wrongdoing. So what do you do? Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. You know, you're like, well, Kathy, what do you mean? You'll begin to hear things like, yeah, tell them uh, you saved already. You don't give a flip about nobody else. Forget them. They don't want to help uh, get people saved. Then don't even don't even bother about saving another body. Don't tell nobody about Jesus no more. That kind of stuff. That's how you know it ain't God. It's the enemy. That kind of backwards garbage crap. Because I, I came across a few people and I was like, yeah, you know, X, Y, Z. And sometimes we think, sometimes we have a medium. And our medium is such that, and there's nothing wrong with operating in that medium because God gave you that medium. You know, that, that focus. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you, when you start to see people fall through the cracks, then you not only do you need to maintain your medium, but you also need to gather those people that are falling through the cracks. So if you're not reaching them through your medium, that means you need an additional medium. Or you need to pray about those people that are falling through the cracks. And I was trying to tell somebody about some people that were falling through the cracks that were being skipped. And they were like, well, we don't do that. And then they began to say some other crazy stuff. And I was like, Lord. You know, so I wasn't mad at them. I just knew that it was a spirit. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. And then they said this thing. And they didn't say it with the spirit of it. The spirit of love. They said, um, oh, well, well, go, uh, go as what, uh, what did they say? Well, do whatever the Holy Spirit leads you to do. And it's the, it was the, the spirit that was on those words. <laughs> it's the spirit and the unlove that was on those words. Now, this person was already frustrated about something else. You know what I'm saying? So all they had to do was give that issue over to God before they spoke to me because they were calling me they were responding to a call that I had made to them just trying to get information so whenever you run across something and you're frustrated and you're worried about all these other issues in your life and somebody poses a new question to you and to you it may seem like more work what you do is you take a few moments to give God praise in that situation before you go and respond or say anything to anybody, you give God praise and let him handle the situation. Because really, he, he is the one that's in control of everything. He's just asking you to perform the act, to make the manifestation. And he will always equip you to complete the task. So if you need volunteers or if you need extra help, tell Jesus. That's what you did in the beginning. You would tell Jesus whenever you needed extra help. So why won't you tell him now? Why won't you say, Jesus, I need extra help, or Jesus, I'm not really thinking clearly on this. I need some help. I'm frustrated all the time. Give him praise. Tell him. Because none of the stuff you do should ever be by your hand or by your strength, but by the Lord. He is your source and your power. Amen? All right, y'all. So we got that out of the way. I just want you to remember, Jesus is Lord. Trust him with everything. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Here we go. Stronghold, answer the call. And answering that call begins with the voice of God, the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Who's doing the call it? Jesus.
a little blanket that my grandmother knit One side is buffalo and coyote split A pair of beaded moccasins, I hope they fit This is the strongest horse that you left us with And I'm the strongest engine in my tribe, you know And I'll give you my soul if you let my son go I'll give you control of all that I own Of all that I hold Of all I've been told We're naked and poor and we will fight no more My family was massacred in white man's war We take it that you're gonna be here for As long as the sun doesn't rise anymore You tell us that you come and spread the gospel of God It's the raping of our women in the gospel of God It's the hunger of our children in the gospel of God Is it awesome to God to see the red man's blood There's a crimson skin to send to your men Will you save your save us again and again You tell us to bow at your virgin statue Cursing every person for ancient value Bow to that woman or we will grab you Bow to that woman or we will stab you Choke you, slap you, beat you, drag you I'm in pain, could you help me, could you, can you? Mercy on my soul, Virgin Mary, I'm alarmed My God is not coming, I am disarmed I believe the one thing that can do no harm Is that baby in that virgin's arms, come on Walking drive through blood and flame Like a desert calling scarlet rain I remember when I was a little child I wandered off into the woods about a couple miles My father came to find me scared and deep inside the wild He held me in his arms and looked me in the eyes and smiled He said, Cloud, what a curious raccoon you've been I know the scent of cinnamon has probably lured you in But in those bushels you'll find rattlesnakes and mean serpents When I met you I knew exactly what my father meant Do your repent so we will burn this blade into your flesh Right now your righteousness ain't really making any sense Telling our families in their sleep by burning down our tents It's too intense but you're calling all us savages No offense but we turn our back and you attack You did the same thing to that man whose skin is painted black You made us many promises but never kept a one You promised you would take all land and what was said was done oh, Come on Walking drive through blood and flame Like a desert cold and scarlet Life is a temporary light in the night Death bites when it's coming from a spear to your side It's the silence of the soul as it's summoned to the sun It's the thunder in the gun and the hunger in the drum The battle is done but the war's yet to come The priest in the mission says there's a kingdom Where you recite the songs and sing the sad songs And spring out the clouds with wings like falcons Adobe mansions, teepees like canyons Supper with the father of all creation 
forget about the pills that are placed on heaven's gate. Mother Mary gets praise from you, but we're awake. I read your holy book, but I'm on another page and praise the carpenter that's risen from the grave who gave his only life so tribes can get saved. Now that's a true brave, my troop can relate. Who can disgrace the truth? The finger points to you, the finger points to me, the finger points to him, the finger points to sin, and that's the sin in man, and that's the way it is, and that's the way it's been, and he will sin again, and he will then repent, from there he will ascend, or pay the consequence, your Bible says he lives, and that he forgives, but to know he exists, I need a sign from him, the cross in the center of the medicine wheel, I believed it was real, and I can feel I was healed, I saw the cross in the center of the medicine wheel, I believed it was real, and I can feel I was healed, come on, walking drive through blood and flame, like a desert cold and scarlet rain. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. That was Coyote Gospel preaching Elijah. Uh, Elijah 1 by Red Cloud. Amen, amen. And so, my piece. Here's my piece real quick because we got the altar call coming up in less than five. My piece is this. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You got to remember that. No, how, no matter how big you may get, meaning uh, in in stature, in in and influence no matter how popular you are you still gotta remember where you came from you still gotta remember that there's someone else is trying to climb that ladder but you want to show them <clears throat> you want to show them the right way to climb that ladder you know what I mean you you wanna no matter even whether you're trying to or not the fact that you are successful or that you're even a bit older than someone else or you're successful in, in a certain area, you are a role model. Whether you like it or not, somebody's going to model themselves after you. So you have to uh, make sure that you're leading a good example. Now, I don't mean be walking on eggshells, but you don't know, have a good foundation. Your first foundation begins with Jesus. And be a person of your word. Let your yes be yes and your no, no. Now, can you change your mind? Absolutely. But don't change your mind because somebody pay you to change your mind. Or don't change your mind because you really want to hurt somebody. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that whatever you do, that you're making something, you're producing something. That you're being a blessing to people. The more you are a blessing to others, uh, the more successful you can be. Meaning, um, don't just take a company apart and destroy it, take all everything it has and then just throw it by the wayside and leaving people unemployed. Instead, find a way to make that company run smoother and better and and produce a better profit. And you know, employ people and show those people how to think like owners. So instead of them tearing you down from the inside out, they'll be building you up and the words that come out of out of their mouth will be a blessing to your company and not a curse. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. You worked in the mail room before, so or you you've been in a low level position before, so you know you know what folks say, and you know what folks do. So remember that, and and remember how can I, you know, make things better for them so that they can how can I make help them help them to think like an owner. All right, begin with Jesus. We got more music for you. Got another opportunity for salvation coming up. Don't forget. If you are a chef, amen, 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 the Food Network has a casting call. You can get all the details on LUTGRadioNetwork.com. And if you are a lover of music, just like I love music, rap artist Isaiah J uh, has a, a fundraiser, a crowdfunding uh, event that he's doing on Kickstarter. And I'll put that link up for you. Yeah, I put it up on the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash LUTGRadio247. But I'll put it in chat and I'll put it up on Facebook again. But definitely uh, consider helping him. He's only trying to raise about $2,000. So 
to help him with his distribution efforts for his new album, Producing Distribution. You'll see all the details online. All right, here's Seven Trey, Isaiah J. It's a, his name is Isaiah J. Jefferson. So there you go. y'all it's about that time for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have the everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved Jesus loves you his love for you is 100% eternal so it doesn't matter um, what you've done in your life uh, what you may have seen what, you, what secrets you may have kept for other folks God is a, uh, is a redeemer. 
He forgives all your sins. Um, they, I think they, well, they still have this, but back in the day, ride or die used to be a huge thing uh, in my neighborhood. And it truly meant ride or die. Meaning, you would uh, take a bullet for your brother. This wasn't your really brother, but it was your gang member, your posse. And uh, you would also throw a bullet, you know, for him. So, Jesus has something real simple for you. He died already for you on the cross. He paid the price for you. So you ain't got to give your life up. All you got to do is receive. Jesus loves you. That, that's just the straight truth. That's as plain and, and easy as I can put it. All of sin and falling short of the glory of God. Salvation, it's free. You ain't got to pay for it. If you would like to receive forgiveness of your sin, now is the time. Repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with the evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. A Amen. Glory to God. Jesus loves you, beloved. His love for you is 100% eternal. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. That's LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church. Get baptized with water. Take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Read your Bible. Starting off with the book of John uh, in the New Testament, chapter 1, verse 1. Read the Bible every day. Read a chapter every day. Tell them uh, that you got saved on LUTG Radio. And um, follow me to segment number 3, which is the birthday. And remember, Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. You are the apple of his eye. Beautifully and wonderfully made. This is Kathy Brock. But let us thank God Radio saying thank you so much for tuning in and definitely keep on listening because we got more for you, more to come. Amen. Glory to God. Follow me, segment three, birthdays.